I'm going to the palace in Kudosvenki with family today and I'm going to be snapping this in widescreen so make sure and turn your phone if you want to watch these snaps. There's the palace itself I guess. It looks like a beautiful building. This is the first time I've been here by the way. Here's the ticket board. There's a variety of things that you can do but if you want to do everything it costs like five dollars which is not too much. Laura spotted a park so you know where she's going but we have a lot more things to do than just play at a park. This place is like a safari slash western type park, I guess. And one of the things they have for people here to see are wild bisons. They have tours that you can go on here and our tour doesn't start until about 20 minutes. So we're just playing at the park with the kids. Here's more of a close up of the palace. That thing is pretty big. Now we're on tour inside the palace. Look at these flags up here. One of the rooms in here contains a kind of a Catholic altar. Here we are out on one of the balconies of the palace and you can see the view down below. If only my dining room was this nice. Here's the inner courtyard of the palace. I'll give you a view of the side that I'm on in just a minute. Okay, here's the side where I was just at. I gotta go and find Alicia though because she just took off and that, there she is. Okay. Alicia. Oh, look at this. This is a museum inside here. I guess this is the type of clothes they wore at the time. This room is a type of an art gallery, it looks like. Here are some coins that they used at the time. My dad actually said he has some of these coins. Here in the inner courtyard, there are some tables so you can sit down and eat. And before going out of the palace here, there's actually a pizzeria where you can get yourself a pizza. We are now leaving the palace and moving on to the next stage of our tour. Now we are going underground, under the palace. Here's what the entrance looks like. It's kind of tight, actually. It looks like this is where the dungeon is because we have a dungeon here with a mannequin inside. They have an automated mouse down here moving around. It's really just cool, dark, and kind of like dreary down here. This is supposed to be a king which was eaten by mice. I think Alicia got kind of spooked out. Now we're in the Dungeon Museum. And here is apparently where they used to lock people up. Here's more of a broader view of the museum. Apparently this is what the dungeon guards used to dress up like. Here's some of the weaponry of the time, a crossbow. A literal hand cannon. And there's a helmet. What we have here are some army uniforms from World War II. Okay, we just left the dungeon and Alicia couldn't wait to get out of there. Now we're going on the safari part of our tour where we are going to be able to see the bison and I think we're going to be able to check out a mini zoo too. For the safari part of our tour, we're taking a ride in a tractor trailer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there in the distance are some wild bison. They said those are their two biggest male bison. Oh, look at that, we're getting close. Oh, look at that herd right there. That's amazing, we're like right up on them. 
żeby nikt nie wychodził z wozu i proszę także o chwileczkę uwagi. Witam Państwa serdecznie w Zagrożu. Samici dla samce. Obecnie jest ta doliczy ponad 80 sztuk i zostało ono podzielone na takie trzy mniejsze statka. Dwa z nich są pod ochroną, ponieważ rodzi się ich stosunkowo mniej. Ciąża takiego bizona trwa około 9 miesięcy i po tym czasie na świat Look at that one right there, that's a beast. That's one of their biggest ones. Look at that bison on the move. Now it's time for some lunch. They got a restaurant here where you can order some food and we all got ourselves something to eat. I got myself some boiled buckwheat with garlic sauce and also baked potatoes. That food was actually pretty good. My dad got the bison steak except he said it tasted kind of bland. How do I look? You can actually buy one of these here at the souvenir shop. We're headed now to the labyrinth which in reality is a cornfield maze. Hi wife. So this is what the entrance to the corn maze looks like and we're gonna see if we can find our way through it right now. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're supposed to turn right here. Okay, it looks like the right way to go. Now it's getting tricky because the signs disappeared. Which way do I go? Do I go here? Do I go here? I don't know man! I don't know! Uh. This is kind of tricky but what I'm trying to do is just travel on the path which looks like is the one most traveled on and I think that will lead us to success. Okay so we've gotten to a point where we could climb on top of this thing right here, this structure and I guess from on top of this structure we can see our way through the... This is actually a pretty big maze, that's where we started from over there and this thing stretches all the way around to cover all this area. Okay, so they have these signs to help us along our way. Unfortunately, this one was laying on the ground, so that's not very helpful. All right, that's enough of that. We just ended up coming out the same way that we came in, but we don't have time to try to go through that whole maze right now because we got to get home. Unfortunately, I didn't get too much of a chance to show you guys the mini zoo here, but maybe another time. Look at this guy, though. I think that's like an emu or something. He's eating some grass that a girl just fed him through the fence. So that's it for our trip. We're home now. We had a really good time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to post any of that to Snapchat. I don't know why. I got an error message on every single clip that I tried to post. But I'm, at least I'm able to upload this to YouTube. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're in the area and you're thinking about going to that palace, then it's worth it. Thanks for watching.